plan, guys. And we're gonna be needing a bumper unexpectedly. It looks fine until you get right here. Yeah. I don't know what I hit last night. I was just driving on the highway and something was in the freaking road and just slashed my bumper. I cannot drive like this. I can't. This is awful. Thankfully, it didn't damage the headlight and didn't damage the tire, but it cracked my washer fluid. Like this thing is destroyed now. So, probably gonna take that off. And my fender liner is gone. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new fender liner, a new bumper. I don't need the washer reservoir or the washer fluid because that was gonna be coming off with the supercharger, so it sucks, but it could have been a lot worse. Ironically, we were already gonna go to Anthony's today to do a clutch fluid and oil change on the car, so once we get there, we'll have it on the lift and get a better look at everything, but as far as I know, there's no leaks anywhere. Freaking sucks, but maybe this is a hidden sign that I'll be able to get the Nismo bumper now, so just depends how much everything is going to cost. I have a guy that I'm going to go to in a little bit. He's going to be able to look at it, tell me how much it'll all be. So, yeah. We're on our way to meet up. Uh, with this guy I know, he's a painter. Um, shout out to him for letting me come out on a Saturday just to look at my car. So I really have no idea what I'm gonna do until I guess he looks at it, either through insurance or I'll have him do it because he can get me a bumper for a really good price. And if I end up going with him, I'll definitely, I'll definitely shout him out so you guys can hit him up and uh, you know see how his work is, of course. But definitely we'll shout him out decide to go through i'm pretty sure i will just based off you know the pricing but it's not the bumper i'm worried about it's just the painting it's just so what i'm probably gonna do is just get a bumper i don't need fenders but apparently they need to paint the fenders to you know make sure it blends right so i might as well just get two fenders as well which can get pretty cheap and just have them paint everything there that way all i have to do is just bring the car there swap it out and that's it so that's sounding like the game plan so but he said he might be able to fix it i don't like how it is right now i don't see how it could be fixed but you never know i'll see you guys when i have an update on it i'm not gonna film him or anything but uh, i'll give you guys an update whenever we get done all right guys so update good news the guy's actually gonna be able to fix my bumper like the whole thing so i'm very surprised so should be dropping the car off uh, tomorrow evening for him and it should be ready by Tuesday. The whole front bumper is going to be repainted and paint corrected and uh, also protected I believe as well. So yeah, not too bad. He's only going to give me a really good price too. So. Well, I was afraid of this. It's barely hanging on. over I changed the clutch fluid in the Z. I was supposed to change, change my transmission fluid but Z1 still hasn't shipped it out for some reason. I don't know why. Changed the oil on it as well. Uh, so I found out what I actually hit. I actually hit a hog believe it or not. So yeah that's unfortunate. So the bumper I want to have it fixed next weekend. So because it's been raining a lot I know it's going to be a pain for the paint and everything so I'd just rather just be done in better weather. So next weekend, 
go drop the car off and have a bumper pan in. He should be able to have it done in like two days. So I'll make a follow-up video for that. So, but all that was damaged is, of course, the bumper. The I need to get a new fender liner for the passenger side now. That's completely gone. And then also need to get one for the driver's side too. And then the bracket for the passenger side driver um, running light, the DRLs, that's broken so it's barely hanging on. So I'm gonna have to find a way to get that fixed. Uh, but yeah, so it could have been a lot worse. At least I can drive the car, at least the airbags didn't go off. You know, could have been a lot worse. At least my tow may isn't messed up or anything. So it could have been a lot worse. I'll keep you guys updated. Can't wait to see how the bumper looks whenever it's done.